on the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Hey, welcome back into Channel 7 Daybreak. Today is Wellness Wednesday, and cardiologist Dr. Scott Davis from Baptist Health joins us this morning to talk about a topic we love talking about, coffee. And another good study, and some interesting new studies that are coming together with AI. I know we've got a lot to dive into today, Dr. Davis. Let's just start with the most important thing, is that coffee, another study saying, good for your heart, and that's what we want to hear. Absolutely. We want to uh, in in encourage the caffeine, right? <laughs> so an interesting study just came out earlier this month that was able to look at three older studies, three older observational studies of over 20,000 patients, one of which was the Framingham study, which several know that this is a, one of the longest studies of of a patient population in, in, in as far as in the cardiovascular world, looking at a different set of risk factors using machine learning technology, which is an artificial intelligence computer-based ability to go back and look at old data in a new way. And what was discovered was that coffee, in fact, was associated with a lower risk of heart failure in patients. And this was a risk factor that was then uh, d determined and, and, and identified separate from other risk factors. They looked at 16 different dietary risk factors, over 250 different data sets in this analysis, and they realized that coffee, in fact, was associated with a lower heart risk, heart failure risk. Now, understand this. There's a difference between association and causation. You know, it's, it's correlation versus causation. So I don't want to be uh, misinterpreted as saying, look, coffee is, you know, it, it will lower your heart risk, uh, uh, period, but it is not associated in these studies with any kind of negative benefit, which is a big take-home message. So the two big things from this uh, that we can use uh, to apply day-to-day -day is that, look, it doesn't appear that coffee is bad for us from a heart standpoint. More studies will come out as far as looking at definite application or risk reduction in, in the heart failure world, but also this new technology of machine learning and, and, and being able to harness artificial intelligence in this computer-based model to go back and look retrospectively at old data in a new way. That's really fascinating stuff. And you always do say too, Dr. Davis, like, yes, it's great to see and hear that coffee has those benefits and can reduce some of those, those chances of heart uh, disease or heart failure. But at the same time, we always speak about moderation. You know, that doesn't mean go to your coffee pot and chug no, 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 no. a day. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 <laughs> yeah, and it, it's that whole, if, if, if moderate's okay, then a whole lot ought to be great. No, 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 no. That's not right. what I'm saying. So, and it doesn't mean that you can, you know, just, you know, go nuts with your coffee and put a bunch of cream and sugar in it too. Because, you know, again, moderation in life is uh, a key thing to uh, embrace always. All right, Dr. Davis, thanks again for taking some time out of your morning. We love hearing good news about coffee studies. You know they go back and forth all the time. It's good for you. It's bad for you. More studies are needed. That's Let's awesome. just end it here. We love this study. It's good for <laughs> you, and we're going to end it right here. Thank you again, Dr. Davis, good, and cheers to good you. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. You can always contact Baptist Health with the information on your screen and go to baptist-health.com for more resources. We'll talk with you next time, Doc. Thanks again. Hey, Chris.